good afternoon everybody good afternoon grace and peace be on to you from god our father and the lord jesus christ happy monday everybody i pray that you all are having a wonderful amazing monday amen uh, for those who are coming in whether you're watching the live or watching the replay god bless you god bless you i minister danielle renee it is a pleasure to be before you on this beautiful monday um, afternoon i pray that you all had a wonderful amazing weekend amen that you guys uh for those who were in the house of the lord i know you guys were blessed for those who were able to watch i know you were blessed amen if you were not able to be there or to be or be able to watch i am um, i implore you to please go back on this channel on youtube and watch sunday service titled what faith is amen so the man of god we are going into a faith series we you know or at least that's the plan <laughs> but for us that know that it, it, things could change at any moment but but for right now we're talking about faith um, an introduction or should i say a, a reintroduction to faith and faith is so important it is the fine it's the foundation of, of of our believing without faith none of us would be here even be on this line talking about jesus christ as our lord and savior and 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 and, and learning anything about the word of god all of this is because we have faith to believe that jesus is lord and that he is our savior and that in him and through him we live and we have our being so faith is the substance it is the essence of of, of 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 who we are as we as we call ourselves believers amen so just i'm um, going to come before you for a few moments this monday afternoon again welcome to mount zion worldwide ministries noonday word i am minister danielle renee it is a pleasure to be before you this afternoon i pray that you guys are wonderful blessed um that your days are going wonderful peaceful amen um but we're going to get into it really um quick we're going to be coming from hebrews chapter 11 verses 1 through 2 amen um and before we start, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this moment. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for your goodness, for your mercy in the land of the living. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for who and what you are. Father, we pray that even right now, that, Lord, that you would have your way, even in the midst of this of these few moments, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. So we're going to get right into it, y'all. If y'all could join me um, in Hebrews... Hebrews chapter 11. Amen. So we're going to get into it. So um, the man of God was talking about faith from yesterday. And, and, and it is so important to go back to faith. Some of us, you may have never really gotten a good teaching on what faith is. Um, and the danger in not really understanding what faith is, is that you think you're moving in something without clarity and understanding um, of what it actually is. Because we can call something faith, but in actuality, it's not biblical faith. Right. So this is good for those who may have been. I don't care if you've been in Christ two days, two months, two years, two decades. All of us need to revisit what faith is, because either we've never gotten a good grasp of what faith actually is and how to move in it as believers or. We've had an understanding, but this thing called life, y'all, this thing called life causes us to 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 lose faith, right? Um, um, it causes us to to um, lose hope. It causes us to 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 doubt what it is that we were maybe bit, you know believing um, God for in the beginning. But but faith is so important to the foundation and the essence, like I said before, of who we are as believers, right? So we're gonna go to. Hebrews chapter 11. I'm going to be reading the Amplified, and then we're going to go into the message for a second. Um, but here begins the reading of God's holy word. It says, now faith is the assurance, y'all, the title deed, confirmation of things hoped for, divinely guaranteed. We're going to stop right there. So we're talking about faith. We're talking about faith. I tell y'all. Um, and, 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 and the man of God talks about how we can we cannot be believers. Um, and Jesus Christ and believers of the faith, but don't have no faith in the faith, if that even makes any sense. We cannot be believers, right? And we just hear 
the word. We hear what it is that God wants to do. We hear what it is that God God says, you know, um, he, he has already done for us. And we hear it and we hear it and we get excited about it, right? As man of God says, we get excited about the word. God's going to do this. God has already done that. God has declared this. God has spoken this. And we hear it and we have a reaction to it and we get excited. But there is no demonstration of what we proclaim to have faith in. So we proclaim out of our mouths and we react to the word that God is a healer. But we in our in our in our walk um, in, 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 in God, we do not demonstrate the faith in which we proclaim out of our mouth, right? So we say we proclaim God as a healer, but deep down inside we don't believe because there is no corresponding action to what it is that we profess, right? And the man of and the man of God is teaching us and, 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 and we have to analyze and we have to, to, to reevaluate. Are we truly walking in faith? Because how is it that we hear the word and we react and we say that we believe from our lips? But then now when we leave out of the sanctuary or we leave from the place of gathering and we and, and, and we depart from the hearing of that word, when life right when we, we when we get back to life right we we no longer um uh, our, our actions do not correspond to what it is that we believe God for. And, and and he gave us many examples. We cannot believe that God is a healer and God has declared a word that you are already healed. And we get excited. Yes, God is a healer. By his stripes, I am healed. We profess the word. We confess the word. But then when we, when we walk out this thing called life, our actions are... We act as if we're already defeated. We act as if we're sick. We act as if we, we, we have no victory. We act like we are a victims instead of victors, right? Because the word declares that you are victorious over sickness and disease and infirmity. And we speak it out of our mouth. But there is no power because what we profess out of our mouth, but what we really believe in our heart, which then causes us to, to have a reaction to that word. And it causes us to act upon that word. It doesn't match. And we don't see no power because there is no agreement between what you profess and what you do there has to be an agreement there has to be an agreement to see the power of God the man of God always told us that the, the word of God is the power of God in suspension and when you speak it right and when you act upon it then you will see the manifestation of the power of that word but we have a lot of people and we all can raise our hand that we profess y'all oh we can quote a scripture real good and we can Put on a front as if we believe but when we go out again monday through saturday or even sometimes right after church we lose that testimony we lose that witness we lose our faith right and, and, and this is where we have to we have to now uh, uh, uh um check ourselves and say why is it that we don't see anything it's because our faith as he said is fake it is fake faith it is not it is not real faith in the word of god because if if, if god tells you something if god says that you are this then then there is an, a, a reaction to that word and a lot of us fail in the reaction a lot of us fail in the action faith without works we fail in the works part if i believe that god has healed me like he said of a, 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 a certain sickness then now my there, there is a demonstration of that faith i'm no longer eating a certain way i'm no longer professing oh i'm sick and i'm weak i don't look like what it is that 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 the enemy is trying to um, proclaim over me. I'm, I'm walking in, in, in accordance to faith in the word. And I, and I hold my head high. And I'm walking. And, 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 I'm believe, and I already believe that I'm already healed. I'm not getting healed. I'm already healed. And because I'm already something, I act like I'm already that thing. Right? That's what he says. You don't, you don't, you don't act like, you know, if you're professing healing. You don't walk around, you know, uh, um looking weak and looking like 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 you don't you don't lost the fight as if you're already in the grave six feet under no you walk around in victory with your with your head held high and 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 even though there is pain you don't you don't you don't claim that pain you don't claim that whatever you walk in a certain place amen so these are the things that we have to learn and these are the things that we have to understand is that there has to be a corresponding action and faith is the assurance it is the title deed right it is confirmation of things hoped for divinely guaranteed so here we go again divinely guaranteed we're not having faith in things that you want <laughs> you may necessarily want or, 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 or what you may desire but see faith comes into play right and is guaranteed by 
the things of the divine that means that what God has promised you he will surely do and you have to have the faith right to believe that it is already done it is already yours but again you have to make sure that that thing that 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 um that you're having faith in is divinely guaranteed because a lot of us want to, we have hope in something or someone and hoping, certain having faith, oh, this is going to work out. But that thing was not guaranteed by God. That thing is not, not, not of God. How do you want to have faith in something that God is, is opposed to? But that's a whole other situation, y'all. And it says, and the evidence of things not seen, the conviction of their reality, that even though I do not see it, even though I may be going through it in my body, going through it in my mind, going through it in my finances, going through, or the situation looks a certain way, the situation is, is, is before me is presented a certain way, there is a conviction on the inside of me that, that, that this is not reality. The reality is what God has said. And this what I'm seeing, what I'm feeling, what I'm hearing is temporary. It is not, it is not reality, but the reality is the word of God. Yes, it may look this way, but the reality is what God said. Yes, I may, it may, it may feel this way, but the reality is what God said. And that's the problem is that what you see, what you hear, your five senses, <clears throat> and what you experience with your five senses, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all, that's what your reality is. But reality is not what you may sense with your five senses, whether it's through your eye gate, your ear gate, whatever the case may be. But it is what it is that God said. Reality is what the word has declared, right? Faith comprehends as fact what cannot be experienced by the physical sense. See, right there, a confirmation, y'all. Faith comprehends as fact what cannot be experienced by their physical senses again my faith is comprehending something that i'm not seeing in the natural but it is because what it because god has says it is right so this is what it says faith comprehends what cannot be seen what cannot be heard what cannot be experienced by your physical senses it is beyond your physical it is spiritual faith is a spiritual thing y'all for by this kind of faith the men of old gained divine approval so this is what separated um others excuse me y'all um from 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 others faith is something that is a spiritual thing faith is something that is not perceived or sensed in the natural and and and, and it's not going to make no sense to those who operate in the flesh it is not going to make sense to those who operate in the natural but it is again something that is spiritual and it supersedes the natural <laughs> You may not feel as though, but it is. It says, the, I'm going to go to the message. It says, the fundamental fact of existence is that this trust in God, this faith, is the firm foundation under everything that makes life worth living. Because if you go through life, life will make it seem as if there is no hope. Going through life and you and you experiencing it with your five senses will make it seem like it that things are horrible and things are bad and things won't change and my situation won't change and, and, and I have no purpose and I have no life and, and, and I will never get this, I'll never obtain this, I'll never get to this place. But faith supersedes all of that. It says here, the firm foundation under everything that makes life worth living. Life is worth living because we have faith in God and what he says. Because again, when you look at this world, you feel as though there is no hope. There, you know, there's no hope for tomorrow. Or what is the purpose of being here? This world is this and this world is that. But it is the faith in God and what he has said and what he has declared that makes life worth living, y'all right it's our handle on what we cannot see because we don't understand that there are things that are happening in a realm that we cannot see we cannot perceive with the natural senses and this is where your faith comes in and so this is where the people of God have to move out of that natural realm and operate in the spiritual and understand that we live by faith. What do we declare on Sunday, y'all? We live by faith. We operate by faith and not by sight. That is what we declare. But for some reason, we forget the declaration. We, we, we forget that if, if you can see it, it is not faith. If you can touch it, it is not faith. If you can obtain it on your own strength, it is not faith. But faith is something supernatural and it supersedes the physical physical realm y'all it supersedes your ability your wisdom your know-how your, your your obtainability it, it it supersedes all of that right and, and 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 our job is to pull things from the supernatural from that faith realm into the natural realm 
The act of faith is what distinguished our ancestors and set them apart, set them um, from the crowd, right? It says, by faith, we see the world called into existence by God's word. What we see created by what we don't see. <laughs> you know, we, we don't even understand. This is just the, the, the tipping point, y'all, of faith. The tipping point of what faith is. But what the man of God is trying to get us to understand is that we have to stop being hearers. And begin to do, be doers. And stop with the victim mentality as if God has not given you his word to supersede the natural realm and to speak his word because it is his word again that is his power in suspension and you may not see it today. You may not see it tomorrow. You may not see it next week. But I'm telling you, if you stand on his word, there is an appointed time where you will see what it is that God, that you will see what you have been standing on in faith for according to his word according to his his purpose and what God has spoken what God has declared not what you may want not how you may want it but what is it that has God God said about your situation what has God said according to that circumstance what is it that God has said that you can obtain and you can and you can have if you stand on his word not your word but his word, this is why we get frustrated because we're trying to stand on our own word and our own wants and our own desires. But if I'm standing on the word of God, I shall see it. <clears throat> it shall come to pass because his word cannot return unto him void. His word must accomplish that which he has sent it to accomplish. His word has the power to change and transform and to produce. It is his word, the power of his word. But the purpose of this afternoon is to get you to understand that the fundamental the fundamental fact of existence is that this trust in God this faith is our firm foundation under everything that makes our lives worth living we have to begin to move and operate in faith god like faith and to declare and to move upon what it is that god has spoken and stop being a people that are temperamental and move by every blow of, of a blow of the wind, you know, and move by every everything that may come. But we have to be a people that are firm in our faith. And what is it that God says? I don't care if I don't see it. I don't care if I don't feel it. I don't care if I can't sense it. I can't. I don't care if I can't touch it with my physical. But in my spirit, I'm standing on the firm foundation that God does not lie. And his word is reality. I pray that as you go through this week, you begin to meditate on God's word and understand that his word is reality. I'm not trying to get healed. I am healed. I'm not trying to get blessed. I am already blessed. And when I seek him for direction, that God, God will lead me and guide me because I'm moving by faith that his will be done and not my will. I pray that all of us go to another level of faith. And if we've lost our faith and, and our faith has been shaken, that our faith becomes um, more assured in this season. And if we moved in a, um, a faith that has been fake, <laughs> a fake faith, as, as Pastor has said, a faith that was not rooted really in God's word and God's assurance and and, 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 and and in him, but it's been a faith that's been misguided, a faith that's been misplaced, that we begin to align ourselves and really become true believers that walk in true faith, right, according to God's word. But let's begin to become True, true believers and we'll we'll see mighty things we will see miraculous things if we begin to move in true faith right and so i know our pastor's prayer and all of our prayers is for our faith to increase in this season to do the impossible and believe god for the impossible like pastor says what what does believing god cost you right to have faith in the impossible 
Let's not have dead faith, y'all, but let's have living faith. Let's have real faith, not fake faith. Amen. Um, as the men of God said, it is impossible to please God without faith. It's impossible to please him. But let's move into another level of faith, y'all. And I pray that if you, again, you, if you haven't watched the word from yesterday, go back to it, listen to it, be blessed by it, be strengthened by it, be encouraged by it, and grow by it, grow in it, grow in the word of God. Amen. Continue to tune in Monday through Friday for Voice of the Prophet at 10 a.m. Tune in to Noonday Word Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Tuesday, Bible study. Thursday, uh, prayer and word. And we're back in the house of the Lord on Sunday. Please invite. Please tell people about the word of the Lord that's coming out of this house. You know, I know that the power of God is in the house. That God does speak in the house. And it is our job to alert others, to tell others that, that God is real. And I know a place where the word of God is being taught. The true word of God. The power of God is in the place. Amen. For God's glory and nobody else's. Amen. Um, again, I'm Minister Danielle Renee from Mount Zion Worldwide Ministries. On behalf of our prophet, Pastor Emmanuel Renee, and our first lady, Sister Pastor LaShawn Renee, we pray that you guys have a blessed, wonderful, prosperous, productive day. Um, again, um, continue to share, share, share. And I pray you guys have a wonderful day. Amen. Um, again. Please remember, Jesus is Lord. God bless you guys.